In video four, we'll start adding some responsive design to our application using Angular Flex layout attributes. As you can see now, it looks pretty good in the application, but once we start shrinking it down, the sidebar falls apart around 1,000 pixels. Then our header falls apart around 400 pixels. And we can take care of all of that easily using the Angular Flex layout attributes and media queries. If we go to our checklist, the first thing we'll do is we'll switch the header and the sidebar from a row to a column in the small and medium screen sizes using this attribute. And we used this attribute in prior videos, and now we're gonna be using the media queries with this attribute. Let's do that first. We'll only be working inside of two files throughout the whole video. One will be the layout side HTML file. Open this up, and then also the header component. And we'll go inside of here, and here's the header HTML file. Then I'll close this down and we'll start inside the layout side component. And right here, the FX layout row, we're, we're going to make one change. We're going to change this over to a column depending on the screen width size. I'll copy this and add it right next to it. And then instead of F FX layout now, we're going to use FX layout dot, then LT for less than, and then slash medium. So when the screen size is less than the medium, I'll change it over to a column. So when our screen size is at medium, these two containers will stack on top of each other instead of next to each other. We'll come back and change the FX layout align in a second. Let's just check this out in the browser real quick. Now when we hit 960, the sidebar should stack on top of the content section. Let's try that out. Okay, that's good. And then now we want to fix the alignment issues. Now we want everything to stretch going all the way across the screen size when we're at this width. And if we go back to this example, I have this link down in the description. And now we're at a column. So our containers are looking like this now. And everything's stacking at the start side right here to the left. So I want to change this to stretch so everything goes across. Also, I want to change this to start so everything stacks against the top. Let's copy this little piece right here, this FX layout align. Next to our current FX layout align, I'll add the other one. And then we'll make a change to this. It's going to be less than medium. And then now on when we're at this width, we'll stretch the containers. Check this out. Now when we go down to 960, the sidebar should go on the top and eat up the entire width of the screen. And also the content should go to the bottom and eat up the entire width of the screen. So let's try that out. Okay, great. So our containers are stretching properly. Now we still have sizing issues. As you can see, the sidebar looks not correct and we'll take care of that in step three. Now let's move on to the header. And if we shrink the screen all the way down to like cell phone sizes, as you can see, everything starts falling apart around 600 pixels. So we'll take care of that. We'll have each of these containers stack on top of each other, turn into a column when we're below 600 pixels. What we'll be doing inside of the header component is almost exactly like what we did right here. So I'll just copy this piece here and add that within the header element. And I'll add that towards the end here and just change it around a little bit. We can get rid of this. And then instead of medium now, this is going to be for small screen sizes. We want to switch it over to a column. And then instead of start, I want the elements or the containers to stack in the center of the header. So if the header is like 600 pixels high, I want all the containers in the direct center. So I'll add in center and we'll still use stretch. So we want the columns to stretch the entire width of the screen. And don't forget to change this over to small. Let's jump back into the browser again. And now when we go below 600 pixels, our containers stack on top of each other. They're stretching the entire width of the screen. So our header looks good so far. We're going to be going back and changing that in a second. But now let's take care of our sizing issues. If we go back out to here, our sidebar is not looking that good. And you could change the width of these containers depending on the screen size as well. If we go back to our checklist, so we finished off step one, step two. Now we're going to be changing the width of the content containers depending on the screen width. And we're gonna be using the FX flex attribute for that. And here you'll notice we're using the FX flex attribute already. We set that up in a prior video. And now we're gonna be adding some media queries to it. 
and inside of the first container I'll paste in a snippet and the only difference here is we're adding on dot medium and we're setting the width to 35. I'll do the same to the second container and I'll set this to 65 so I'll change this over to 6 and here you might notice a little difference we're just using MD we're not using LT or GT like greater than or less than so what we're doing here is we're picking a certain range and I'll show you that in the documentation let's save this now when we're in medium screen sizes our sidebar should be 35 and it is and our content area is 65 if we go back into the large screen sizes it goes back to normal if we go less than that it goes back to a column so that's working great and they have really good documentation on this if we go back to the link that is down in the description and click on the responsive link right here and here if you open up the developer tools the this right here will change on depending on the size of the screen if we go into large this switches over so this is a really good tool if you're trying to figure out what media queries you want to use so I used MD so our sidebar and our content is set between 960 pixels and the, the max width of 1279 pixels now less than is a max width if you use that and greater than is a min width if you use that and that's why I just used the medium because I wanted it within just this range now we're done with that let's move on to step four so now what we're going to do is reorder our containers depending on the screen width using the FX flex order and what we'll use the attribute on is the search field so when we're in small screen sizes like this we'll have the search field container be below this examples container we'll reorder these two containers and we could do that by using that attribute and back inside the header component we'll start inside the the second div the, our search field container and here I'm going to add another attribute called FX flex order and then hit dot and we'll also use less than small and here we'll set this to the third element so add in three and then I'll copy this and just to be very specific I'm going to set this to two so we just shuffled around a couple containers let's check that out now our search field container is the third container and our example container is the second so we just reordered those containers by using that attribute now the last step step five we're going to switch out headers depending on screen sizes using the FX hide and the FX show so if we are on small screen sizes we'll use a separate header and if we are on large screen sizes we're going to use a separate header for that so we'll have two separate headers and we'll need to hide and show them depending on the screen sizes we'll take care of that next let's start off by copying this header right here and we're going to make two headers now one for the desktop and one for the cell phone so I'll paste this a couple times and then the last one here I'm just going to comment it out and push this up to github so people can have a reference for what we did so far and then here we could change it up any way we want now we don't even need to use the attribute the FX flex order attribute we could get rid of this because this header is just for cell phones now so we could do whatever we want and I'll cut this out and what's neat about this is you can create custom components just for your cell phones and add it within your cell phone header then you could create another bunch of custom components and add them for your desktop header it's very flexible like that and then here we don't even need this anymore we get rid of this and then clean this up now we, we don't need to listen for that and this and we don't need the FX flex 20 we can remove this for the cell phone they're all columns and get rid of this as well and now what we need to do is toggle this header off and on depending on the screen size so if it's a small screen size we want to turn it on and now I'm going to use the FX show less than small so if it's in a small screen size show this header if it's large make sure you hide it now let's go clean up our desktop header and this we could remove now we don't need that anymore and this as well and remove this here 
and replace it with our FX show attribute. And here we're doing the exact opposite. We're showing it when it's greater than small and we're hiding it if it's less than small. So technically what's happening here is it's toggling our headers off and on. Save this. Let's check it out in the browser. Now we have a desktop header and then when I maximize this, it stays in place. And then if we go all the way down to the cell phone, it swaps out to the cell phone header. Great. That FX show and FX hide is very useful for things like that. And we have a little stacking issue. Let me go ahead and remove that. I'll be back. Okay, I got rid of some of that text so we don't have that stacking issue. And then if we minimize it down to the cell phone, everything is working great. And that's pretty much it for this little mini course. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, uh, please subscribe, hit the like buttons uh, whenever you can. And I'll see you in the next course.